Hi, we're here at Bristol Blue Glass. Um, I'm here with Dave, um, and we're going to make some Prince Rupert drops. We've been here in uh, the city of Bristol since 1988, uh, producing not only the blue glass, but as you can see, the ruby, green, lots of other different colours. Um, blue glass was first made in Bristol in the 1700s, uh, made famous by a chap called Isaac Jacobs, and he was the first glass, glass maker to add cobalt to lead crystal glass, which we still use his recipe here today. Warm, it, it just makes it Hi, we're here at Bristol Blue Glass and we're exploding some French Rupert stocks. Oh, Jesus! <laughs> wow, that's an explosion. Okay, so the drop broke, but technically it wasn't the hammer that broke it. If you look closely on the high speed footage filmed by Smarter Every Day, you can see that it's the vibration and wiggling of the tail that actually causes it to break. However, using a polarized lens, we're able to see the stresses within the drop, which helps explain why. As the molten glass is dripped into the cold water, the outer surface cools very quickly and solidifies around the hot expanded interior. As the interior finally cools and solidifies, it contracts away from the outer solidified surface. This creates highly compressive stresses on the outer surface, balanced by highly tensile stresses on the inside. The thick layer of highly compressive stresses around the bulb are enough to counteract all of the tensile stresses imparted by the hammer, thus preventing crack initiation and growth. However, in the tail, where the layer and magnitude of compressive stresses is less, vibrating the tail or cutting it with the snips easily overcomes the compressive stresses, initiating and rapidly growing the crack through the tensile core, exploding the drop from the inside in such a dramatic fashion. 